Okay, so a crazy story happened yesterday. Tried getting into the shed and it was locked. Okay, so I unlock it like I normally do. And I'm lifting and lifting and lifting up. Nothing's happening. Thought, okay, maybe somehow the lever on the inside of this door got locked somehow by a piece of wood falling on it and, you know, messing it all up. So I thought that would have been a really strange scenario, but who knows? Stranger things have happened, right? So I'm thinking, okay, I'm going to have to, like, you know, shimmy this open with a, um, I don't know, a bobby pin and a small flathead screwdriver. And I'm thinking that's not the problem because what I checked on the inside from here... I was able to see that nothing was, you know, nothing was in the way, right? So what the hell? It's like, just really confused and frustrated that I can't open this thing. So finally, I was able to push this little section in because what happened is the wind, the winds were so bad the last couple of days that it just knocked this thing real loose. And the cable that connects to the bottom of this, which I'll show you in a second, was actually off. So I was able to push this little section in. Um, and, you know, kind of shimmy my way in with a very small gap. So once I figured that out, got in here. As you can see, now it's opening fine. I noticed, I was looking at, I was looking at some of these options here and seeing, okay, is it the rollers? Is it, is there some pin that's missing? Whatever, I, I didn't know. So came up here and realized that this roller looks different than this one. This roller is actually locked in place, so that's not going anywhere. But this doesn't, this has a different type of function on it where you can see it's, it almost needs to be pushed in all the way. But every time you close it, that gap's gonna close. So, realize, okay, so what can we do? Um, so first we tried zip ties. Tried zip tying this, just so that it was kind of act like a stopper. Um, but that didn't work. And then I tried zip tying it, I don't know, from here to here. And then that didn't work. I didn't think it was gonna be even close to a temporary fix, but when you're kind of running out of ideas, just brainstorm and see what can you do. So came over here, and that's where I saw this cable that was out of whack. It was off of that, uh, that piece right here. So it was just kind of hanging there loose. And then I look up at the pulley way up there and I saw it wasn't even connected to the pulley. It was wrapped around that bar up there that connects to the other side. So I looked at the other pulley and said, okay, clearly that's screwed up. This pulley's on right there. Um, can't really see it through here, but it was wrapped up there. Okay. So I said, okay, I gotta wrap everything real close and it just, it worked. So finally over here, I, you know, we both uh, had to, you know, try to wrap that cable around the pulley real tightly and push this down and you know, ultimately get the cable to uh, attach here at the bottom. But what a pain that was. Very difficult to figure out. And what happened was the wind pushed it so strongly that this piece was rubbing up against the railing to where it almost stuck on the inside of it here. So you couldn't even, it was completely off, off the rails. So that's pretty much what happened. Just kind of wanted to share a funny story. So if you guys ever have any issues with that, uh, you know, you kind of, you may know where to start. This is just a manual garage door, no garage door opener or anything like that. So, but keep in mind for, you know, any possible issues that you might have later on, give you some ideas and maybe some, some thoughts about fixing if you ever have a similar, you know, malfunction. So I might actually replace that hinge because it doesn't seem like that's gonna, uh, you know, suffice for the long term. So anyways, that's it. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos.